In Operation Storm, I talk about a flooding incident that happened aboard the Segundo. It was December 1944, and there was another raging typhoon going on. The sub was on the surface, recharging its batteries. It was late at night, and Lieutenant Vic Horgan was in his bunk. He could feel the sub getting out of sync with the waves. Before anybody knew exactly what was happening, the Segundo nosedived into a trough, and a wave broke over the bridge and the water poured down into the uh, conning tower. Well, before anybody could actually recover, another wave came and it drove the sub down 36 feet. Well, the bridge hatch and the main induction valves were still open at that time. And so water poured down through the bridge hatch into the conning tower above me and then flooded out the control room. They had about four inches of water sloshing around on the floor and another three, four feet of water in the pump room. Well, it was a disaster particularly because the uh, ventilation system of the sub acted as a conduit and channeled the seawater throughout the sub. So the radio shack was wiped out. Most of the uh, submarine's compasses were inactive, so navigation was no good. They couldn't communicate with anybody. Fortunately, it was a quick-thinking quartermaster dogged the bridge hatch, and the motor max in the engine room did manage to get the main induction valve uh, closed before there was too much damage done, and so they eventually were able to surface. Fulp, uh, who was skipper at the time, was really concerned they might have lost their lookouts, just as they had lost Saunders a few days before. Um, and when they opened the hatch and they went uh, on deck to see if anybody had survived, Fulp was convinced there wouldn't be a man left. Well, fortunately, nobody was lost in that incident, but I think everybody pretty much agreed it was a miracle.